So as a lot of you, I'm sure, have heard, Steve from Blue's Clues made a comeback for the 25th anniversary of the show. Many people around my age, I'm 31, grew up watching Blue's Clues on the daily, uh, hanging out. It felt like having fun with Steve and with Blue, the, the little dog, for those of you who don't know. And not only did he come back, he came back with a message that a lot of people apparently got a lot out of. It really resonated with people. I saw people, I mean, black, white, whatever kind of person you could think of reposting this message from Steve. And all he really said was that he never forgot about the viewers uh, of the show. He kind of apologized for, for leaving the show abruptly. He just said that he'd been through a lot over the past years and, and he knows that the viewers have too. And that he, he encouraged them, telling them that they're doing a, a great job, that they're dealing with a lot, but they're handling it. He even said they looked good and he, and he bid them farewell. But that meant a whole lot to people. And I was curious as to why. So I went on my Instagram. I, I asked people who were reposting it, how they, how they felt about it and what it meant to them. And overall, people said a lot of things, and I thank you guys for responding to me. But overall, the message seemed to be the feeling that it gave them. Steve was able to give them a feeling, and a lot of them talked about uh, stress over the past year um, with uh, the stress of student loans and all the things that, that come with adult life, kids for some people, marriage for some people. And Steve was able to make them feel calm in the midst of that. And giving somebody a feeling of peace is something they really value. And I'm thinking, how did Steve, how did Steve gain the ability to, to make people feel at peace? And I realized it's because people feel like they know him. They feel like they spent time with Steve. They never actually did, but they feel like they spent time with him uh, because of watching the show and, and hearing his voice and, and watching him. It felt like to these people, like an old friend picked up the phone and said, hey, I was thinking about you. And I just wanted to offer some encouragement and let you know that all the time I've spent with you, it, it still means a lot to me. That's a good feeling. That's a feeling Steve was able to deliver to millions of people without actually knowing them. And then that got my gears turning. And I thought, how can we, in the pursuit of, of making a living, doing something we love, how can we give people a, a kind of feeling of calm, a kind of feeling of familiarity that, that will give them that sense of peace when they interact with us and, of course, make them more likely to, to buy our products, to buy our services, to listen to our podcast, to want to hear what we have to say, which will give us influence in their lives that we can use for good, that we can use toward helping our passions come to life. And it comes down to one thing. It's a matter of consistency and time spent. Steve was on that TV every day with Blue, taking you through the show. He was predictable. You knew what you were going to get from Steve. You knew when it was going to be mail time. You knew it was time to do this. You knew when it was time to do that. And we have to offer that sense of familiarity and reliability to our audience on social media or wherever it is that we interact with them or else we're never going to have the, their ear. We're never going to truly have their hearts. They're never going to trust us and believe us when we say we care and then buy our product because they believe it was made by somebody who actually does want the best for them. You've got to put in the time. You've got to communicate. You've got to put in the effort and then your relationship grows. The brand is built first. Then you profit from it. Later, because I'm telling you the truth, man, with the power that Steve had, he could have turned around and said, and that's why I wanted to tell you about my new tire company. We have a promotion going on, and these are the safest tires in the country. And I just believe that together we can make our roadways safer because, you know, I care about you. you. We've known each other for years. So sign up for my email mailing list. And I'm going to show you all about my tires and you can buy them. You'll be first on the list. Steve could have sold, turned around and sold a product. And I don't think the moment would have been lost because of all he did for them in their mind without asking for anything in return. Adopt a give first mentality that will endear people to you. And it'll make people more likely to listen when you're telling them what you're going to do for them and how much it's going to cost. My name is Najee Simmons and this is the No Job Podcast. Mm -hmm.